I'm back! So it's been a while since I recorded my last tutorial, and that's because I've been fairly busy with some other stuff. Mainly, I was on vacation, and then there was Thanksgiving, and then I had a crap ton of schoolwork. So, I haven't really had much time to record, and frankly, I've been kind of reticent to record a new tutorial, because for the last three times I've tried to record this, uh, the sound didn't record correctly. So, it kind of killed my productivity. <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. We're going to be rigging our Minecraft character today that we've been modeling and texturing. I'm going to go over how to rig it, skin it, and add some constraints so the knees and arms are easy to work with when you're animating. So the first thing you're going to do is enter edit mode so we can add some extra topology for our mesh to deform correctly once we apply the armature. So to do that, we're going to use the loop cut tool, control R, and to get extra segments, We'll scroll the mouse wheel up and left click to apply it. And just make sure all the faces are roughly square. Next, you're going to add a subsurf modifier, set the type to simple, and turn it up to about three or four subdivisions. Then apply it. Now for the armature. You're going to go to Add, Armature, Single Bone. Position this bone at the base of the spine. Then scale it down and extrude it up twice to create the spine. This next step is optional, but it's worth doing and will help you when you manage your bones later on. Name your bones in the Items tab of the Properties panel. Now add a new bone for the leg, rotate and position it, and then extrude once more to create the lower leg. Now extrude out from the bottom again to create a controlled bone. This will be used later by the Inverse Kinematics constraint to control the leg. Now duplicate that bone, rotate it, and position it in front of the knee cap. This is going to be our control for the knee, which will control the direction the leg is rotating towards. Now duplicate it across, and if you did name your bones on the other side, press W, flip names, to flip the R's with L's. Now add a new bone at the base of the arm to create the upper arm bone. And once again, extrude it out to create the lower arm bone. Extrude it down again to create the control bone, and duplicate that control bone, rotate it, and position it behind the elbow. Now simply make sure the bone is in position. Now duplicate these bones, mirror them with control M, and flip their names with W flip names. And finally, at the tip of the spine, extrude up to create the head. Now select a control bone, go to its bone tab, and uncheck deform. Do this for all your control bones. Now create a root bone and parent the upper arm bones, hip bone, upper leg bones, and all the control bones to it. Now select your mesh, then the bones, press control P, and select the with automatic weights option. Blender will automatically generate vertex groups for where the bone should affect the mesh. Now quickly just go through and make sure that all the bones work because sometimes the automatic skinning algorithm doesn't work perfectly. In this case it worked pretty well but if it doesn't you may have to manually edit it. Now select the lower arm bone and add an inverse kinematics constraint to it. An inverse kinematics constraint or IK constraint will make the two arms bend to reach a target point. That target point in this situation is the target bone. So set the target to armature, then select the control bone. Now set the chain length to two, so it only affects the first two bones it's connected with. Now when you move the control bone around, you'll notice that the other two bones follow. Next, we'll set a pull target. The pull target sets the rotation of the arm, and in this case, the direction the elbow is pointing. So set it as the elbow control bone. Now comes the fun part of trial and error where you set the roll of the bone and you set the pull angle and you set the roll of the bone then you set the pull angle and just try to find something that works so it actually points towards the elbow. You may even have to delete the arm rig and start over so you get the rotation right. You could try to do the exact same thing for the other side but I ended up just duplicating the arm bone eventually after a few failed attempts. 
To do that, enter edit mode, delete the other arm bones, select the already constrained bones, press Shift D, Control M, X, and move it to the other side. And then you should have the rig all set up for you. Now do the legs the exact same way you did the arms. I've always had more issues with pull angles for the legs than I did with the arms. I'm not sure why. So what I did is I ended up just duplicating the arm bones and adjusting a few of the angles for the leg bones. Now select your upper arm bones and reparent them to the spine, upper spine, because you want to be able to bend the spine and have the arms come along with it. Now for the hips, you're actually going to duplicate the old hip bone and then rename it hip controller and you're going to parent the lower legs and the hip bone to that. And the reason you do this is because you have some really weird issues with the hips otherwise. Like if you rotate the hips, it'll rotate the entire body instead of just the upper body. So making things like a sitting position uh, or making poses like a sitting position um, is basically impossible then. So now you can see we can move the hip controller around and have the hands and feet stay in place. So that's it. Now go make some renders of your Minecraft characters doing kung fu moves and share them in the comments. Also in the comments, let me know what you thought of this new editing style. It's taken me a while to do it, but I kind of prefer watching videos that are heavily edited and just contain the information I need. Um, and I hope you guys do too. If so, I might start making slightly shorter videos, um, not as many series type videos because it took forever to edit this, like two days with the amount of free time I have. So, but anyway, let me know in the comments. So that's all I have for you guys this time. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and we will see you all later.